Hi kids! Today we will learn how we are interfering with the natural habitats that is disturbing animal life. So let's start. First of all, we will learn what are extinct species. Those species of organisms are called extinct. When there are no more individuals of that species left in the world, or that species is died out. Millions of species that ever lived on Earth have gone extinct by now. That is, our Earth is deprived of so many beautiful species. Now let's look at a few examples. Dodo bird of Mauritius, passenger pigeon of North America, Greek auk of North Atlantic, by G. White Dolphin of China, Seller's Sea Cow, West African Black Rhinoceros. These are only to name a few, but we have lost a million of species by now, and that's a big loss. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Now let's see what are endangered species. Species of organisms that are likely to become extinct very soon are called endangered species. These are the species we can save from extinction. Example, tiger. According to studies, about 3,200 tigers only are left in the world. And if their population continued to decline, they will be soon extinct. Polar bears. Polar bears live in Arctic regions and their population is declining at an alarming rate. Pacific walrus. Magellanic penguin. Leatherback turtle, bluefin tuna, mountain gorilla, javan rhinoceros, giant panda, monarch butterfly, and many more. These are just a few to be named. We need to save them or they will soon be extinct. Kids, the most sad part is that the main reason behind endangerment and extinction of species is humans, that is we, and our development activities. We are exploiting animals for our needs, like killing animals for food. We are destroying their natural habitat for our development. Clearing of forests, cutting of trees, all for wood, vegetation, and construction is a great intervention in the natural habitats. It is all destroying the natural habitats of animals because of which animals are dying out. Urbanization, that is the growth of modern industrialized cities. All require green farmland, grasslands, forests to be cleared out to make buildings and cities. And all this eventually leads to the loss of natural habitats. Ever-increasing human population is leading to the increasing requirement of land. And land requirement is met by clearing out forests and grasslands. And that too leads to habitat destruction. We learned urbanization and increasing population are leading to the loss of habitats. Another reason is pollution. Pollution is the presence of unwanted substances in our environment. Human and its interference in the environment is the main cause of pollution. Human activities are causing pollution on the land, air, and water. Burning of fossil fuels, dumping of garbage on the ground, using chemicals in farming, everything is leading to the pollution of air water, and soil, and this pollution 
pollutes the natural habitats of animals. Pollution has an adverse effect on our environment from all sides. All animals, birds, plants, aquatic life, and humans suffer because of this pollution. The biggest example is oil spill. An oil spill is a situation when liquid petroleum or any other oil is released into the environment, especially marine areas, that is, sea or ocean. It can be due to the leakage from some carrier ships or some accident of marine vehicles. It has a very adverse effect on the marine life, and this leads to the death of thousands of aquatic animals. Another important reason for the endangerment and extinction of species is overhunting. Hunting is the killing of animals for human resources. There are different reasons for hunting. It can be food, like people overhunt fish, for food to feed the ever-growing human population. Leather or fur. There is an increased demand for fur, leather, and meat, because of which many animals become endangered or extinct even. Sports. Animal hunting is still considered as a sport in some places. Whatever the reason may be, but hunting is a major and foremost threat to the declining population of many animal species. Now let's see some peculiar examples of human activities that are leading to habitat destruction and animal extinction. Giant panda. Giant pandas' only natural habitat is China's mountain forests. Pandas prefer to live alone. That is, unlike other animals, they cannot live where human intervention is there. Panda like to live alone, and forest gives them enough space to eat, roam, and swim. And they primarily eat bamboo plant, though they eat other plants and insects too. But pandas' habitat is being destroyed by humans for land, wood, and other forest resources, and as a result, pandas are dying out. Pandas starve if there is a scarcity of bamboo plant. Blue whale. The blue whale is a large and beautiful creature. That is endangered now. Ocean waters are the habitats of this beautiful creature. There are many reasons for the whales being in this list. Some of the reasons are: the whales are often victims of vessel strikes and die of their injuries. The whales are often entangled in the fishing equipment that causes injuries or death. The whales are also killed by natural factors, like they often get injured by moving ice. Killer whales attack blue whales, that too results in their death. There are many conservations attempts being made to safeguard these huge and beautiful creatures to save them from extinction. So, kids. Today we learned how humans is being responsible for habitat destruction and many more factors that are leading to the endangerment and extinction of so many beautiful species. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye bye.